If you or someone you know is an entertainer of some sort and they're looking for extra exposure, tell them foulmouthal at yahoo.com. We get several submissions every week. We found a handful of great artists and we are going to be bringing them to you. Don't forget, foulmouthal at yahoo.com. Oh, yeah, you can go to the pet, pet store and buy them. Like, nah, they're banned, dude. Now, you can't get those at the pet store, but yeah, what I'm saying is, you can't. Can. Can. Not anymore. You can get, oh, not anymore. Nah, nah. they banned them, dude. Well, yeah, they should have. Because people are dumping them in a the toilet they and they're ending up now, in a pond. Well, nah, the reason I was asking is because we're doing a fishing tournament next weekend. We were thinking about coming down here and hitting Garrison Lake. and I'm Because now the ones up our way that we were going to go into. I'm not going out fishing and trying to catch a snakehead in the middle of the night, man. That's all I need access. Is that where you guys go at night? Well, it's a 24-hour fishing tour. 24-hour tour. I don't want to be lipping something that's going to bite back, you know? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Especially at night. You come up, your thumb's missing. <laughs> yeah, them things are nasty. All right, well, we're back at the Foul Mouth Owl Show with Von Cole. And, uh... Woo! Yeah. <laughs> don't everybody yeah. cheer at once. Ow. Um, we have a payoff to go through here. Looks like Dave has got a drink. What is that drink called? Man chowder. <laughs> Man girt. Fresh squeezed. Man girt. No, it's a condiment. What is it called, Ian? It's a condiment, condiment mix. Drink. Condiment mix. Condiment mix. Mm. Condom juice. And it looks delicious. So we're going to um, pass that around here in a minute. It's curdling. Miss Ashley, you got some news for us before we get this going, though? Yeah, I do. Let me take a whiff of that first. Oh, my. Take a whiff and pass it. It smells. smells like barbecue mustard. Doesn't smell that bad. I see onions yeah, and chunks. Dip a McNugget good. in that. I would eat that with some dip. Let's see. Squigs drank uh, hot mix blendy, yeah. which is That's horrible, horrible hot stuff and spices. And he drank toilet water, <laughs> fresh out of the toilet with a fresh pubic hair in it. It's got chunks in there. That's like the same chunks as it's in a cat food, ain't it? Oh, look. See, Squig that's what I was tested it. Do. I'm good. Thanks. Squig's you know mad. It's real nice. <laughs> he doesn't want it, Squig. Just set it, set it here. I'll take it. It's I'll hold on good. to it. Lunch you made table. it. Did the chef taste his mix? No, I didn't what? get to make it. Okay. I had to smoke them. Right. Who made Three. it? Your wife and Ian. Yep. So uh, Yanni Burger. That's his mom Yanni calls him. That's Burger. his nickname. Baby Ian. Yanni Burger. Squid calls him Baby Ian. Baby Ian. He's my baby. <laughs> oh no! God, love. Look at him. He's <laughs> kind of cute. He is cute. cute. Look at his hair. You should have seen it when he was. Freshly shaved. He looks like a skinhead. <laughs> you like he that? does, doesn't he? So you like that look, huh? Is it your buddy again? We go back to the buddy thing? Your Aryan yeah. nation. Fre- buddy. Freshly buddy. shaven buddy. body. Yeah. Glistening <laughs> in the butter. Yeah. How old are you, like 14? 20. It's really like a freshly shaven scrotum. It's quite breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a freshly shaven scrotum? <laughs> he does. Oh, Montana. <laughs> he doesn't I'm shave his lie. face. Doesn't shave his face. Oh, he shaves his man. scrotum. To shave your scrotum with all the bumps you got on your nuts? That must have had blood. How do you know? Because <laughs> yeah. he rubbed them on my cheek one time. He brushed my ear, and I heard bump, bump, bump. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. They were like speed bumps, weren't they? Yeah, it was called nasty. a flower ear, but it was just his nutsack. <laughs> yeah, it was just his nutsack. <laughs> And I grew hair on my ear, like, spontaneously. It was like Braille. What did it say? Sick. <laughs> Don't touch these, it's contagious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was that, four score and seven? Wow, he's got the look. <laughs> it said apply wart cream here. That's what we should look up, dude. What are those bumps? What? <laughs> on his fucking shit. Oh, what are those things? Aren't they Where hair they follicles? I don't know. I don't have bumps on my nuts. They're hair follicles. Dude. He's got his eggs. Are, his his balls are smooth as like eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like eggs. Yeah, but look. Hard at his eggs. Eggs. Have you felt his hands, dude? That's why, because his hands are like sandpaper. It's, yeah. I exfoliate. He, he keeps naturally. He's always touching them, man. <laughs> it's right. like can nat- I do the news while we're talking about oh, balls? Sorry. You got yeah. news? Yeah, you yeah, got I some balls or any balls in the news? Actually, There's, I don't have balls in the news. This week. Speaking of balls, would you like some? <laughs> <laughs> you want to put some balls in my news? <laughs> wow. Now, since we were talking about the snakefish and balls. I pull this one up first. Cops put a squeeze on alleged python biter in California. This, acron- this happened in Sacramento. A snake bite left the victim seriously hurt, but the injured party isn't whom you expect. 
Police say a python underwent emergency surgery after a man allegedly bit the creature twice. Nice. Yeah. About damn time. <laughs> Officers were called to Del Paso Heights around 6.30 p.m. Thursday after a passerby reported what a man, what was a man lying on the ground that may have been assaulted, according to Sergeant Andrew Petit. When they arrived, they found David Petit. Sink. Petit. <laughs> they found David Sink, 54, lying there, but police say he wasn't the one who was insulted. Assaulted, excuse me. I'd be insulted. Yeah, I know. I was insulted. He's, he's insulted after the story goes. Another man approached officers and accused Sink of taking two bites out of a three foot wet pet python. He taking. was a, he, did, he was arrested okay. on suspicion of unlawfully maiming or mutilating a reptile. Hey, quit booked, chewing on my snake. Booked on ten thousand dollars bail. <laughs> Doesn't he know he's not supposed to use teeth? And how many snakes have you know? Have you ever heard of being arrested for biting somebody? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm and screaming, it's the man. man, the man bit the snake in a jailhouse interview. Okay. In a jailhouse work, interview. Canadian. Yeah, my he snake said, bit oh, someone. Oh, oh. Hey, man, you the guy that they got brought in for biting the snake? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, come, come here, here. I got you got to show you. I got shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll show, show you, you a black snake, motherfucker. <laughs> why is it? Why is it got to be a black black snake squig? I don't know because it's got a cotton. I can't get the money. Because he's, he's a the snake. Yeah, in the garage it was a white snake with one eye. Oh, what again? Oh, yeah. that, that I'm not right. falling yeah. for that for the All fourth right. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Albert, you missed that. You I know. All right, this next few lines is kind of ironic. Uh, Sank said he had no memory of the incident and that he has a drinking problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Man. Common theme going on uh, today. I did what? <laughs> he said, I did what? If you find the owner, tell him I'm real sorry. I'm willing to pay for the medical expenses. <laughs> the snake was turned over to the animal care services where it's recovering Friday after losing several ribs. The female python, about a couple years old, had extensive bite injuries, said Gina Nip, acting animal care services manager. You could see the poor snake's liver all the way down the side. The snake owner has yet to come forward to claim the pet or file a report with animal care officers. How well, I really can't well, blame the guy. You ever no, the snake? It tastes like chicken. Snake. No, honestly, if the snake was missing many ribs and all that and broken, that must have been Marilyn Manson's uh, snake. It's a snake. Who cares? That's what I'm saying. That's right. You guys have didn't pet he, snakes? Uh, no. Snake? Some no. Pets. They don't need to be snakes. pets. Snakes are not pets. There was a rumor that Marilyn Manson had a rib removed so he could so suck, he could his, suck his dick. So that's his snake. There's no such thing as bad publicity, Frank. So what do you think? You're gonna get a couple ribs removed? <laughs> a couple happen. ribs? <laughs> uh, I need liposuction. The ribs are fine. It'll reach. But why don't you just get a dick enlargement? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I can give you one of them right now. I'm good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just rub my leg. No, that's not what I meant. Boing. What did you mean? <clears throat> why is it table? What I thought you meant. <laughs> Come to the rub van. I'll show you. <laughs> Suck his schlong. What did you? I'll bite it like I'll be in the paper next week. Get, you be reading it. Man <laughs> takes two bites out of another man's dick because if he shoves that in my face, I am biting it. <laughs> <laughs> Frank with the sound effects. Well, you didn't play it this time. God bless you. <laughs> All right, here we go. My Chemical Romance fires drummer with sticky fingers. Mm, yeah. oh, I heard about okay, this. Okay, let's yeah. go back to the snake. Where's a yeah, sti- right. Where's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My Chemical Romance Wait. relationship with fill-in drummer, drummer Michael Pettacone, is that yes, his name? Pettacone is already kaput. Pettacone, who replaced Bob Breyer in late 2010, has been booted from the New Jersey band for theft. He was caught redheaded stealing from the hand and confessed to police after our last show in Auburn, Washington. Guitarist Frank Iro writes in a blog post titled Just the Facts, failing to specify whether Pettacone was busted for swiping money, equipment, or something else. We are heartbroken and stick to, sick to our stomachs over this entire situation. The band has no intention of pressing charges or taking this matter any further than they have to. They we just, just want him out of our lives. They should just call it quits now. That's it. The people who play in his band are family, and a family should not take advantage of each other like he did. Uh, Ira notes, this is the only time we are ever going to talk about this, so don't expect further comment from the band or the matter. He also promised the band is currently moving forward, and they have. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> MCR posted this note on Friday and played a show Saturday at Utah's USANA Amphitheater with dead country drummer Jared Alexandra, who is neither a massive MCR fan or learned the band's songs from previous audition. Pettican was the band's third drummer following Briar and original member Matt Plesser. Plesser? Plesser. We need to send Steve, uh, Steve Carpenter over there. So they didn't say what he stole or how he stole, just that he actually stole. He was stole. stealing drumsticks and selling yeah, them probably. on eBay. 
douchebag. <laughs> You're a douchebag. All right, here's some local news. Delaware couple finds crossed with racial slurs in their front yard. All right. <laughs> the symbol was made out of PVC pipe, had racial slurs along with burn in hell scrawled on it. The resident noticed a cross called 911. County police are investigating the matter, but the residents, who are Negro, <laughs> that was the last time I heard yeah, the remain disturbed that this has happened in their years of 22 in the neighborhood oh that's just Frank's barbecue last yeah. week that's, yeah, all, that's really? all it was cross burning and buffet yeah. the neighborhood is a subdivision of Kirkwood Highway between Delapa Manor and Roosevelt Park anyone with information can call contact what manor? Rose- no. Delaplane Delaplane Manor and Roosevelt Park Anyone with information can contact Newcastle County Police. Wow, that's right down the street from my house. Dave, where were you at? Where were you doing? Anywhere around. <laughs> Likely story. He was collecting PVC. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys sell that? <laughs> yeah, for scrap. He was You're scrap. Right. Getting the clay. No, he's all right. He just sold him the PVC. He was, you know, why would you use PVC? It's only going to melt when you set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, they clearly, really? clearly were thinking, Frank really. Yeah, 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 they have nice professionals. <laughs> ben, tell them how you do it. <laughs> Let me get my booklet out. Yeah. <laughs> my instruction booklet. Your pamphlet. <laughs> All right, here's my next topic. I'm going to follow this one in the news for a while. I Chad. like the nice gl- gas steel crosses that they make today. Yeah. Gas. Give me news. Has there. anyone it's seen Chaz Banner lately? Yes. Chaz Banner. Is she Bono. even bigger? Did you get that picture I sent you? Yes. Uh, she used to be cute chastity. Now. Is he even bigger? He or she is now a he. Chaz Bono exactly. will premiere on Dancing with the Stars. Chaz has already started his ballroom debut and already feeling the effects of being out of shape. He, she, Dancing with the Stars, is receiving hey. both negative and positive Shem. responses, but the majority of the responses they receive from the fans have been supportive. Um, Dancing with the Stars premieres Monday, September 19th at 8 p.m., and we got to check it out. Awesome. <laughs> Who watches Dancing with the Stars? Not me, but I'm going to Not now me. just to see Chaz. Not me. No. My wife had me watching it, so I figured I better start this show up <laughs> before it came back on here. It, it's very scary to see Chastity as like this little cute blonde girl and I then to see her. what it is now. I remember I, as a little boy watching the Sonny and Cher show. Oh, yeah. That was and like that a big that little deal. girl came out, and I was a little boy at the time, and I was like, I'm in love. Yeah. Oh, that. Uh, ding. Yeah. Dang. Oh, I didn't know that. What? That's Chaz. Wow. Yeah. You didn't know that? No. She's been, she's been like this for the last Well, you didn't think about yet. 15 years? Huh? She ain't got junk yet. No, she ain't got junk. She's well, no didn't Chaz. the dude from Life of Agony just do well, that? Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. trying to be a, She looks like a Chaz. The dude yeah. from Life of Agony. I'm sorry, Cher. I'm sorry. Hold on. What, what's that? The dude from Life of Agony just did that. I don't know that. I didn't get that text yet, you know? When eh. female? Keith Cap- Caputo. He went Caputo with his Junko? Yeah, yeah, he's a chick now. Hmm. He inverted it. No, it's Karen Capuno. <laughs> it's, I don't know what. Let they me don't, fuck they, they you inside it. your dick. That's nasty. That's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Just... Imagine taking her home one night. No. That's what I'm going to tell my kid. I'm going to say, <laughs> say, look, when you get hooked up, as soon as you get on your date, grab her in a crotch. Make sure there's no junk down her rear. <laughs> well, if it's inverted and reversed, yeah, it's you, up inside. You can tell it. know it. That's what they do. Let me slip take all the inside. What if you get a hard on backwards? Stitch it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> a reverse oh, my burner. Dickhead's on a taint. It's poking out. It's on the cusp. Is that what it would sound like if you had a hard on backwards? <laughs> Is that what it sounds Probably. like? Probably. Let's hear it would again. Would be a hard off? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not an option. All right, well, it's, uh, is there anything else in the news, Miss Ashley? That's all I got this all right, week. All right, very good. Good job with the news, Miss Ashley. Yeah. This week, very good, very good, very good. Um, well, it's time in our show where we have to... Um, and I'm out of here, too. And you're leaving? Right. Yeah, I'm out. i got to get him. Got chitlins. Sha-la-la-la. Chitlins? Ooh, you eat that shit? No. Ugh. Chitlins, that's, yeah, she just that's like them. pig guts, isn't it, Mark? Is that pig intestine? That's pig, pig intestines. Yes, it's not bad. Intestines. They scrape them and it's cook not them bad. in bowl and what do you think you're eating when you're eating sausage? And my grandfather made something for dinner one year. That's all right. Up. That's awesome. Now it's a casing, but... It was a pig yeah, it's just a case. stuffed with something. It's all right. And you know, they make cases Islands pretty much fake anymore. That's Spam. That's Spam. Spam's yeah, good. Spam's, spam's what good they don't you. use for sausage it's, and scrapple. It's left over. They compress it and Spam. Well, Spam well, is they pretty much ham. But it's good, and it doesn't have them little bone chips in there like cat food does. I don't know, but spam, if you really spam, spam, think about spam, when you're eating a piece of Spam, if you think about it, you can taste fibers. 
Uh, it's just fur. I know. That's what I heard. It was fur. Horse fur. It's no, right. they find pig fur on it sometimes in spam. All right, well, it's time in our show where we have to um, have our payoff from our game. Squid. Oh. All right. How Great. do you feel about not losing this week? It's I rare. I got to see ya. Nice Bye, you. Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Bye. See you, Squiggles. See ya. Bye. I feel fantastic. Bye. I feel that a good-looking guy here with a big old goatee has got a lot of shit to drip. If it hangs in his beard, he's got to tuck it in, suck it off. <laughs> goatee get. Squig's a professional at least. He's already, right. he's already dry heaving over here, man. You ain't got nothing. Oh, man. We took in consideration of your stomach also. Well, it looks like there's well, some thanks. chaser that's settled at the bottom anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, it's does the guy have a glass uh, of water geez. or something? The trash can's over there if you're going to mm -hmm. hurl. Man, that's good. If you don't finish it all, I'll, I'll put that on popcorn. You. I was going to get some chicken McNuggets and dip it in there. Damn that's right. Great. That's hot sauce. Sweet guy. Really, uh, I think it's... That's, hey, that's, Dave, if you want to pass up, like, after you drink half, I'll join you. Nope. Because nope. I am a band Can't member. Do it. Can't be any worse than the pig brain, that one that one show. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes, folks. And he's chugging it. Chugging it. Oh, yeah. He's sucking it down. That yeah. shit is thick. Yes. Good job. Awesome. Backwards. That was uh, Dave... Yeah. From Von Call, just too, babe. Yeah, I told you. got babe. one of the easiest things in the box easiest. of Dune. Yeah. Fucking thing! I had to suck Ashley Smack's toes once. That's not so bad. It takes I mean, it like alter a day gone. <laughs> He's going for that gum right away. You know, on that. Island. So, what did you taste you the strongest? On a boat? What did you taste um, the strongest in your drink there? Probably mustard and mayonnaise. Mustard mayonnaise. It wasn't mayonnaise. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't taste any ketchup. I don't know if that was in there or not. I smelled I barbecue sauce in there too, and I saw some <laughs> like onion chunks. Worcestershire sauce or something. Worcestershire sauce. Remember? I put, Worcestershire I put my sauce. sack in and I teabagged it. He stirred it with his tea with his <laughs> ball sack. That would explain why the top was all lumpy. And well, the that's the Mexican. No, that's the frothiness that came off of it. All right, <laughs> there's some hurdles left, dude. I think you ought to. No, that's cottage cheese. It's not his chunks. So how's things been going for Von Doom lately? Or Von Doom? <laughs> Von Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call Future up and ask him. Oh my god. Von hey, Doom. Yeah. Kate Von Doom. For Von Call, how's things been going for Von Call lately? Good, man. Just staying busy. Staying yeah. busy. Yeah. Getting gigs. Yeah. Recording your CD. Yep. Right? Yeah. Could you use uh, an improvement in your luck in your life? Yes, you know oh, what? God. We have a website that we've bought the domain name for, or the don domain the what? name. The domain name? The donation? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck we're doing with it. What's, so what's domain you got? Dave? Uh, he it's can't. Not, it's not up and running, so yeah, it we, doesn't help. We don't know how to do it. We gotta find somebody. Yeah. What do you want to do? Bam. Get it back I, up, I, get I it can up get and a website. Bam. I can set you up. Cool. Can up. Can do anything. I can have it up in minutes. That's all we need is somebody to help us out, get it set up. Well, let me give you. Let me give myself a quick plug. Elaine Carroll Studios. Yes, you do videos. Elaine Carroll Studios does a lot of things. Yes. And uh, one of the things we do is websites for bands. For one hundred and twenty-five dollars, we can have a basic two-page website up with your domain name of choice if it's available. Oh. And that includes the annual fee that you'll pay. So we have the web space, building the site, putting it up. Real simple, basic stuff for 125 bucks. And if you want to see your your work, you can come to the VaughnCall.com page. Which is what? What's the website? What's the domain name that you have that you're trying to point yeah. our website to? What? Von, VaughnCall.net. VaughnCall.net. Yeah. The, I guess VaughnCall.com was already taken. Yeah, well, that got lost in the internet, man. We had it. The uh, person that was running it decided to throw the ball down on that one and yeah. And one day we got on there and it was a gambling site and that was that. <laughs> I see. So yes, it's better uh, than pharmaceutical supplies. Well, yeah. <laughs> Although I, I would buy pharmaceuticals online, but I don't gamble online. No, I don't. I don't trust that. I, when I anytime I ever thought about gambling online, I just imagined me against a bunch of guys in a room going, "What do y'all got?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I it's like, let him win this one, so he goes yeah. all in the next time. Yeah, we'll I, split I it. want about thirty grand uh, all together. I think. Does the IRS online? listen to this or? About thirty grand. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure there's legitimate places to do it. I just, I just very untrusting when it comes to online gambling with my money. I'd rather yeah. go to Dover Downs yeah. where I could beat you up and get it back. <laughs> in. Or take the machine with you. Yeah, yeah. They frown on that though. Yes. If they got you. 
that's true. Um, so we got voncall.net, and what do you want to do with it? Uh, Any ideas? Uh, pictures, MP3s. Videos, schedule, videos, schedule. Yes, all of it. So this is something that Elaine Carroll can do. Elaine Carroll Services can do for a lot of the bands in the area. Um, yeah, I don't believe you. I think you should prove it to us. Go ahead and try. We're going to prove it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can do it all. Go to richardhbailey.com. Check it out. Go to uh, randomfilth.com. Check it out. Go to uh, delawarescreenprinting.com. Check it out. Go to delawaretattoo.com. Check it out. Well, that's fine and dandy, but there's no band sites there. We're going to set up Von Cole. <laughs> <laughs> .net soon. Check it out. <laughs> He's a hard ass, man. Hmm? I said he's a hard ass. Who? Him. Him? Frank. Well, good. We'll get along just fine. <laughs> well, I, I know a guy that does screen printing. It's uh, Seymour Graphics. Yeah. Pretty he, good. Do, he does a lot of band shirts. He's also in a band called Von Cole. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Who's that? John. John, you do Seymour <laughs> Graphics? Yes. Awesome. And you're the guy I want to talk to. All right. Because, um, yes, we can do definitely we, do some stuff. Yeah, we can trade it's, some stuff. Oh, we can trade all kinds of stuff. It's too warm outside to wear chocolate right now. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those chocolates are very expensive. I know. I'm sure they are. No. So you're the guy with the T-shirt business then? Yep. Okay, cool. Printing. Yep. Um, yeah, we definitely got to do some stuff together. So yeah. what else does Von Cole got going on? They need some. They need a change in their luck, I think. Some improvement in their luck. That's where I was going. Eagles. Let Eagles. me tell you what's happening. You have, if you guys know about five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday, we have a we had a listener who wrote us a letter and he said he went he did five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday. So let me back up. Five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday it sounds complicated. We ask people to tell five friends to tell five friends to go to foulmouthowl.com by Friday. So all you got to do is really go up to somebody and say, hey, man, can you do me a favor? Can you tell five people to go to foulmouthowl.com and check it out by Friday? Appreciate it. It's really that simple. Oh, well. So if you can get five people to do that for you and get them to do five. And, and, and you see how you know, works? it's funny. I actually posted on my personal Facebook and also on Vaughn Call to have our friends and fans to uh, subscribe to your show. And I saw that. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate hey, that. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're promoting us, and we're whores. We'll take so, it. And we have like 500 and something I'll put friends on, on our Facebook. On. So here's what here's how it works. If you do five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday, your luck will improve, guaranteed. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. We had a listener send us an email. He did five for Foul Seems Mouth legit. Owl, and he was everything. He said everything seemed great. He said things were definitely improved. So what he did the next week, he did fifteen for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday, and he won twenty five thousand dollars in the lottery. Nice. Jeez. And he didn't share a fucking dollar of it with us. <laughs> well, to all of our family on the Vaughn Call Facebook page, all five hundred eighty six people. Um, go subscribe to Foul Mouth Owl Show. Yep, look us up on Facebook, like us, and there's an easy way to subscribe with the Foul Mouth Owl Show. It's all about iTunes. If you got iTunes, that's easy. Just search us and subscribe, or you can go right to our Facebook or our main website, foulmouthowl.com. Sign up and get just get an email uh, letter or an email notice anytime we put up new shows. It's real simple that way. All over the place, right? See, see that? I got. I'm I all, see that. I see that. I have eight eight episodes. So if you tell five people about Foul Mouth Owl by Friday, your luck is going to improve. And that's the bottom line. So what have you got to lose except for your career and the rest of your life and your fame, fortune, So far, that's going well for us. (laughs) So why not try five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday? It's got to make a difference. I also heard you do videos, too. Yes, we do. And the studio is trying to figure out a way to give away a video just to show because I'm bleeding to do one. And just to show uh, some of the cool stuff that we can do. I heard you got a green screen. Yep, right there we got a green yeah. screen. But underneath the white okay, screen, there's a green screen. What's that? I hear well, lots of things. Like the giant green screen. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a green screen, black backdrop. We can do just about anything you can imagine. We can make it happen. And uh, We can do a surfing video that has nothing to do with surfing. We can have you guys driving your car through the wave. Yeah, we can do See, all that. That would stuff. be cool. Do like a beach blanket bingo kind of thing. Can we make that happen there, uh, um, Dan? Make anything happen. That's right. Can we have an Funicello just do a guest spot appearance on no. our video. Yep. Oh, he be- said yes. He's he. <laughs> I'm all rights reserved. She <laughs> you know she don't look like that anymore. Right? I, know. <laughs> I, know. I know. We'll have the old version of Annette Funicello. Uh, I used to have a crush on her. Oh, my Did you? God, yeah. For me, it was uh, Shirley from Laverne and Shirley. 
I like Pinky Tuscadero. Yes. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, hell yeah. She was cool. I thought the Fonz was hitting that though. He like, was hitting that. I, I like Janet from Three's Company. <laughs> Janet? Yeah, the dark hair one. I'm yeah, she had an yeah, ass when she yeah, like, in the newer like one. She had an Suzanne ass. Summers. Yeah, I was a Suzanne Summers yeah. guy too. Dumb blonde kind of thing, right? Well, I wouldn't say dumb blonde. See, my wife's blonde. She's Mine is too. Dumb. She's sitting right there. Yeah. <laughs> my wife would kick my ass oh, and anybody Lord. else would call her. Your wife's not blonde, is she? Yeah. She she's gorgeous. Is she Your wife's blonde. I've seen, I thought I've seen her picture. Super blonde. <laughs> you might have seen her on my uh It's Mrs. Von Call. Eddie Von Call. Hedy, All right. Eddie Von Call. So what's coming up next for Von Call? Tell us about your shows, games one more time. Shows, more shows. Plug those shows one more time. We're about to All wrap right, up Friday the old the Fat Mouth show. Friday the 16th, we're at Mojo 13. And that's with Black Hand and Confessions of a Lifetime. Then on the 17th, we're at Coyotes in Seaford, Delaware. Both September, right? Yes. Both September. Thank you, Monty. Uh, with Bless the Martyr. Alter of Dagon, World Loss, Us, and Whiskey Tits. Whiskey Tits. Whiskey Tits. Mm-hmm. And then on the 24th, we are doing a show at Bank Shots Pike Creek, Delaware, on September 24th. And that's with uh, good friends of ours, Livid. Um, and I, I think I'm playing drums through their set, too. I'm doing a guest appearance for them because their drummer can't make the show. And you're that good. Okay. You're that nice. I don't know. It'll probably be a train wreck. <laughs> well, save your arms for your There's, band. There'll be two train wrecks in a row. Is that <laughs> <laughs> At least they won't be head on collisions. Well, I still don't have a song list, so we'll see how that works. I just start banging. That's what I'm going to do. That's what a good drummer can do. I, I've, I was not the best guitar player ever, but um, I've thrown many drummers out of the room. <laughs> I can't keep a fucking beat, man. And then a, a personal thing, if you guys don't mind. Um, the cream does work. If you September 30th through <laughs> October 2nd. What are you on vacation? I'm going to be up in Pittsburgh doing, we just had the benefit show for, uh, in honor of my nephew uh, for the American Heart Association for childhood birth defects. Um, we raised a little over 2000 I don't remember exactly. Was that the deal with Bank Shots that just happened Bank recently? Bank Shots 40, yeah. Okay, yep, yep. Um, and my wife and I and a couple people are joining us. We are going up to Pittsburgh to do a, uh, a walk thing, a Uniontown walk. And we're going to be wearing T-shirts. Like a 5K a, walk or something like yeah. that? Yeah, and, and it's all to raise awareness and also uh, uh, raising money and stuff like that. Um, if you go to my wife on her page is Heather Evans. Um, I, I should be able to put up a link sometime this uh, sometime tomorrow night. Um, you'll be able to, if you want to donate, you can donate over the internet. Um, there's a PayPal account that will go in honor of my nephew, Jesse. We lost him about a couple years ago. Um, he was born a blue baby, which means his heart was backwards, and he lived longer. Is that that pulmonary valve disorder thing? Yes. Okay. And uh, he, he actually lived longer than the doctors were saying he was going to. But uh, it, it's a real serious thing, so we're raising awareness for that. And That's awesome, how man. How long was that? Huh? How long? He, he wasn't supposed to live, if I'm correct, and my wife will correct me once she hears this. Um, I don't think he was supposed to live past 10 years old. And he died when he was 15. Fucked up. So I hate to hear stuff about kids yeah, like too, that, man. Yeah. That's a that's a kicker there. So but if anybody wants to do awesome. your brother made that that motorcycle bike. That yeah, was. my my yeah. brother had made a chopper bike. I do have pictures on here. They're also on my page. What do you mean a motorcycle? Motorcycle or bicycle? It's a bicycle chopper bike that he made. <laughs> it was he really cool, it. man. Yeah. It was uh, yeah, it, it was six foot long. And it had a 40 degree rake on the front, on the front of the forks. He had a two gear derailleur set up on this thing, and it had a ball knocker right on the frame. It was pretty cool. So what'd you do? Did you auction it off, or we auctioned it off? How much did it bring? I want to say three or four hundred, if I remember right. Yeah, I know a lot of people bid. We also gave away a uh, uh, a Jaeger light. Uh, Jägermeister light that uh, uh, Scotty from Bank Shots 40 had donated to the cause. There was only five in Delaware, and he had two of them. 
and he gave away for the auction one of them. Nice. My mom had knitted a blanket. We had a coach purse giveaway. We also had a Crabtree and Evelyn giveaway. I mean, we had a lot of people donating stuff, um, even Pier 1 Imports. Yeah, so. it's it's amazing if, uh, you know, all you got to do is go out there and ask a lot of times, and yeah. people will be involved with what you're doing for causes, especially for causes like that. Yeah. Um, so if you got something that you want to put together, and uh, don't be afraid. People will help you. People will people will help you, and they'll pull together, and they'll put up stuff. And, you know, it's amazing what people will, will put up. You know, that bike was pretty awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so, so that's what we're doing. Email me a picture of that bike so I can put it on the podcast, as these podcasts do have images, so right. the, the listeners can check that out. I so. will. All right. So um, what else is coming up for Von Call? Oh, uh, for this month, that's about it. We're still working on October. When are you going to have that CD done, damn it? Uh, hopefully. Uh, um, Why are you guys looking at oh, Dave? It's like everyone yeah. look at Dave. Dave, Dave recorded. Why are you guys looking yeah, at Dave? He's the one behind the board. Yeah. Um, CD hopefully completely done, maybe January. January. Yeah. I was thinking like December or January. Mm-hmm. I was thinking as much time as we put in there, it should be done by now. What do you think? Yeah, you <laughs> you're like me. I need doing? it right the fuck now. John was waiting for him to pull it out of his pocket. Or That's say, what I thought. I thought I he got it right here. I got it. Before we left, he said, I'm A, B, and a CD. I'm like, great, he got it done. And then he's saying January. Like, what the hell? For a full CD. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. For a full CD. Yeah. It'd be uh-huh. January. Well, once we get that done and come down and we'll do a video with you guys. Cool. Go figure out something, right? That'd be we'll put great. something together. Yeah. So any of the bands out there, if you want to get involved with the Foul Mouth Al Show, just shoot us an email, foulmouthal at yahoo.com. Please look us up on Facebook, the Foul Mouth Al Show. Like us. You can like Ashley Smack. You can friend me, Foul Mouth Al. You can friend Mark McGuigan on Facebook. Oh, Squig. Squig. Well, they won't let us put Squig. I know, but... you got to get 10 friends, and then they'll let us change your name. So when you get your 10th friend... One. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, wait a minute. Seven. All these people in the room he that haven't have even friended you. I don't have an internet connection. <laughs> so, um, and with that and uh, a couple other things I want to go over real quick. September 13th, which is next week, we'll be here with Rude Boy, Reese, and MC Gusto. And the Ashley Smack win a date contest. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It's over. Uh, September 20th, we'll be here with Lonery Ray Roded, who is a musical talent. And Fenris which is a musical comedy duo. Two different things happening there that night. The following week, September 27th, we'll be here with Coffin Fly, and then they're going to hang out with us on October 5th. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That was good. And then October 5th, they're going to be at Mojo Main with us for the uh, pin-up party. A special shout-out to Megan Slaughter. Happy birthday. Who are they pinning up? I like three seconds from <laughs> Either what? Who's Coffin Fly pinning up? Oh, it's a pin up party. They're going to pin up Squig. Oh. Hey, pin him you... up to the wall and throw spitballs at him all night <laughs> for a Certain dollar. Circular saw blades. 17 year old kids. What? They're all 17 year old kids. That's so. all right. You don't have to be 21 to be in. No, I'm Mojo. saying that's why there's. It's all right, pin up spitballs at me. <laughs> Don't, all be your buddy. Don't all be your buddy by the end of the night. Hey, y'all. It's hey, my y'all. home bar. <laughs> yeah. Super. I live Super. Right, down, right down the street from there. From Cough there. on this fly. Uh, Mojo Man. Oh, do you? Yeah. So you're right down there? Yeah, that's my home bar. Awesome. <laughs> hey. Awesome. Awesome. You always I'm, like, I'm like Norm. So your show's gonna be there. So you guys got a show coming up there anytime soon? No, no. he hangs out there, but he don't promote. Oh, he don't no, work. No, uh, no everybody, believe me, everybody knows. They just don't want us there, I guess. Hey, are I'm you re- guys working with? Um, um, yes. With Mohawk. Yes. Um, um, no. No. Maybe. You know what, Albert? Don't Purple. Ask. What's his name? Nate. 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 Yes. yes. No, we don't even know Nate. I know you know Nate. <laughs> yeah. I'm his partner. Nate who? You're his partner. Yeah. And he means Sexual. okay. With Mohawk Mohawk Music Man. Okay, okay. Yes. So you guys are working together. Now. I'm the other half. Okay. Man, this shit all yeah. intertwines. It's yeah. like yes. the other half. It's like uh, next thing you know, you're gonna own Lane Carroll Studios. I'll be working for Von Cole. Shit. <laughs> well, that could be true. I might already work for you guys the way it's going. Shit. <laughs> you, you do, you just don't know it yet. Yeah, I need some new t shirts. You're already doing a website. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'm already doing your website. <laughs> I'm already doing your website and your music video, so <laughs> All right, well, we're going to wrap it up for tonight's Foul Mouth Out Show. I want to thank Michelle Wallace from Michelle Lee Photography for helping us out with the pictures and uh, Aaron for coming in with the pinup or for the pinup calendar. Thanks, Von- Michelle. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, guys. And the band Von Call for coming out and hanging out. <laughs>
We have Ben, Frank, John, Dave, and Monte Fear. So from the crew of the Foul Mouth Owl Show, see you next week. Bye. 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 This is Ronnie Giovanni telling you to join the Foul Mouth Owl Army. All you got to do is ask your favorite venue owner to host the next Foul Mouth Owl Show. It's great publicity and we can even bring the entertainment. Give them our number, 302-423-0276 or email us information to foulmouthowl at yahoo.com.